Hi guys, I'd like to thank you for watching our videos and subscribing to our channel and liking our page. Uh, thank you and have a great day. Welcome back guys. Keeping it real on Tucker Hill here with Ronnie. Uh, we're in the quail house today. We're going to show you a little bit of the quail. Um, we got some Bob White uh, jumbos and... Uh, or at least that's what I was told. If they're different than that, just leave a comment down in the bottom. Um, see how you like them. Uh, we got some Coternix quail of different kinds. I know we got some Texas A&M. Uh, we got some brooders here behind me with uh, one quail and a chicken in that I incubated out of my uh, homemade incubator over here. I'll show that to you too. Uh, we got some just loose ones over there in the other side with all that junk. Uh, we got to clean all out of there. Uh, first, I'll show you these uh, Bob Whites. Maybe kind of dark to see in there. We got four hens and a male in each cage up here at the top. I'll try to get you a better picture of them. Better video tomorrow. Uh, here's the Coternix quail down here at the bottom. They've started, the Coternix quail started laying me about two eggs a day. So I'm getting two eggs from them and one out of them over there uh, a night. These up here, about 14 weeks old, takes about 16 to 18 weeks for these guys to start laying. I haven't got any out of them yet. Still waiting for that. Still kind of cold, short days, so they ain't gonna lay too good right now anyway. Oh. Over here is our loose Coternix quail. We got some babies that we had bought. Uh, by the time we bought these other ones, we just feed them right on the ground. They got their little water right there. Uh -oh. We got bunch of junk in here it's an old trailer house that had burnt we actually got it on the property and uh, we're still doing a lot of work in here cleaning it up but hey it'll work for a quail house kind of show you around here we got a bunch of lumber and stuff over here a bunch of sheets of paneling and stuff we're eventually going to use when you uh, when you get a homestead you pretty much try to use everything you can that's on the property and that's kind of what we've done. Um, got some empty cages over there. Go get some animals. Um, in the future, this little spot you see right here, we are probably going to try to make a giant incubator, a walk-in incubator. Uh, you can probably look on YouTube and see some of those. They're pretty neat. Uh, we're gonna try to do one probably this summer. Uh, once we get enough, you know, animals around that we can uh, incubate them ourselves, uh, get our flock bigger, and maybe start selling eggs and baby chicks and baby Coternix quail and just different stuff. Kind of help us out on the the homestead. Here's the incubator that I built. It's out of a deep freeze that no longer worked. Uh, we ordered this thermostat, digital thermostat off of Wish. It finally come in uh, after about a month of waiting on it. Uh, it works great. Uh, we're not incubating it in it at this time. See, we cut a little glass hole right there, put a piece of glass in it so we can see inside of it. <clears throat> we build our own frames. Uh, may not be the best, but hey, it works. Uh, got the little water down there. Got the digital thermometer or the thermometer down there. We got these little things here off of uh, Wish that show the temperature and the humidity, so those work out pretty good. Uh, got three racks right now. We're gonna make them a little bit bigger so we can get more eggs in here. Right now it holds about uh, close to a little over 100 eggs. Got my heating element, lights, all that up there. 
Works pretty good. Keeps holds temperature. That's all we wanted. Holds humidity. Uh, worked out pretty good. You see back there in the corner, that's the Coternix quail and the little Rhode Island red chick that we hatched out. Just trying to see if this uh, incubator was gonna work good. It actually worked really good. We put two eggs in and we got two babies out of it. So that worked really well. This brooder's keeping them nice and warm in this cold weather. It's done a really good job. We gotta get in here and clean this thing out. But their water. We just used a uh, kitty water and put some rocks in the bottom of it so they couldn't drown. It's worked out really good. We got that little feeder there. It come off a of wish. <clears throat> uh, wish is not sponsoring this video, but if you uh, need some cheap items, uh, go on there and uh, you can get some pretty cheap items on there. Some of them are good, some of them ain't worth a flip, but hey, um, it's real cheap and some of them work out pretty good.